Alrighty, hey guys, welcome back to some more Sherlock Holmes Crimes and Punishments. Uh, we're trying to save Wiggins' brother. Yep. Who we just uh, interrogated? I guess it was interrogated. I don't do it. Yeah, let's go back to Baker Street. I don't remember what we needed to do. I mean, you might have some in some information. Uh, that we can cross-reference. I don't believe so, but I figured might as well. I'm wondering, if this is the last case, I'm wondering if this has anything to do with Mycroft's thing. <clears throat> right? Tim, we already did Mycroft's thing. No, we didn't. No, we did, with the, um, the uh, Mexicans and the, um... <clears throat> no, 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 no. He, he was, uh, when he came in, he was talking about, um, uh, Irish terrorists. I don't think so. You don't think so? I don't think so. I think you're wrong. That was months ago, after all. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was Irish Terrace, because I remember making a joke about it. What? Yeah. Anyway, okay, so the kid comes running through here, uh -huh. cutting past the uh, the guard, or the, the Bobby or whatever. Uh -huh. All right, comes over here. Oh. Okay. <clears throat> What's with the cutscene? What's up with you, lad? What are you waiting for? I'm waiting for my brother to be released. Your what? brother? Why are you Didn't waiting you here? Yeah. <laughs> Beat How'd you wait at the prison? crime scene? Ah, the murderer. He ain't killed no one, copper. Watch your mouth, lad. Else you'll be joining that worthless brother. But of you yours. are a copper. <laughs> it's just another name for police. Anyway, but yeah, uh, comes around this corner and sees. The two dead people, mm -hmm. and then like a third person. You're saying the, down there is where he saw the third person. Well, the third person was like over, standing over the body, is he? Okay. Is what he said. And then the third person runs off down here, making no sound. <clears throat> mm. It's like the gunman. I mean, no, oh. wait. Able to see any higher. I need to find something what? to What? What? Why would you just guess that there was this should be useful. A bullet there, of all places. I mean, I completely a... missed. Excellent question. I don't know. <clears throat> anyway. I mean, you'd only is. know that after Well, look. This is most <laughs> yeah, you'd only know that after you had seen the bullet yeah. hole. That was in the that was backwards. Yeah. Watson. There was a third shot fired in this street. Oh. Was there? Okay, so two from this guy. <clears throat> from his pistol. And then one the from grabbed. him. Or one from the, the other person. Whoever the other person was that shot him. Yeah. Any new information from you? Maybe I should actually you know, go to my mind oh. palace first. Uh, third shot. There we go. Uh, seems reasonable as the three shots at the crime scene prove the presence of a second gun. I mean, I, I mean, yeah. I guess. Uh, Kenneth uh, Butler and Brian uh, Bercati both died of crossfire. Which each of them, uh, with each of them holding a gun, one of the guns is now missing. Okay. Of a double, double murder. murder carried out by one person. I, that's more likely. Considering neither of them moved, for for there to be a, <clears throat> enough time for them to shoot one, and then the other person not react, move, or try to get away. Hmm. If there's gunfire, then or uh, crossfire, that eh, doesn't. Add yeah, up there's, with anything there's anyway. nothing between them anyway. All right. Well, let's now confront this guy. All right. So, Mr. Turner, you have stated that you remained close by your window after the crime. <clears throat> Is that correct? Oh yes, Mr. Holmes. I stayed at my window until the policeman arrived to examine the dead bodies. 
Liar! Um. I mean. I mean, I guess yeah. This one will. Would that make is more very sense. interesting, Mr. Turner. Constable Marrow stated that he did not see anyone at the window when he was running through Half Moon Street. Oh, oh, well, I think Constable Marrow and me, we might have been distracted by the whistles and shouts coming from Whitechapel. We could have missed each other somehow. You understand what I mean? No, it was a bit I don't. Of a stressful moment to tell you the truth. Sir. Are you pissing yourself? Allow me to form my own. You smell fears, like fear. Turner. I'm like a Would shark that day. me the view that you had from your window? Ah, uh, here we go. Uh, uh, not, not at all, Mr. Holmes. Please follow me. Yes. Where's Watson? Don't worry about Watson. Mr. Turner appears to live very modestly. Hmm. Ah, uh, it's kind of a large. This fire home is dying out on Whitechapel. It would be about half that ago. size if he was living modestly. Feels uh, fire, <laughs> ashes, <laughs> burnt paper. <clears throat> the papers are almost entirely burned. I am unable to see what's written here. Uh, well, see. it's in Latin. Let's just do oh. this. Letters. Uh. Uh, Venture Keller, uh, the something or other textbook. Got to. Of the author. Murata. Nick, too. I'm, I am keeping take this it. right. You're not taking it? I apparently am not. I take it out of his fire and leave it there for him to clean up later. And finish burning? <laughs> oh. Ah. Perfect match. So, Mr. Turner broke his stick, <coughs> and it became stuck between the cobblestones. And, well, not that, that could have happened a while, ago. a while ago. Like it even just had it to have happened before today. they died. Yeah. If it happened, if it was over the blood or over the bodies, yeah. then it would have been after that. A short but while ago. being before it doesn't really mean anything. I mean, it's right in front of his door. Yeah. He has to go down there to get here, right. and it's just a shit walking stick. Continue to examine this. Yeah. The paper. Yeah. These words are illegible. The papers were thrown into the fire just a short while ago. Oh. Okay. Uh, that was pointless. Well, all right. I mean, it was the exact same information. Yeah. Don't, don't know anything new. I, I thought you were going to check my window. From his bed by the sound of gunshots. You assume that. Watson, can you shoot your gun into the air? I'd like to test something. Is it, is it, he takes his clothes off and lies down on the dude's bed. <laughs> Gone. Fire away. Excuse me. What are you doing? Bang, bang, bang. Oh, my God. This kitchen knife is quite sharp. Uh, I mean. It's a kitchen yeah. knife. Kitchen Any table. Sweepings. Shredded paper. There are pieces of shredded paper scattered over the table. Tore up a, a letter. Was used yeah. To cut the paper. Okay. A newspaper? Okay. What kind of paper? Document? Uh, the letters, probably. Why would he cut the... I mean, they can already burn. Okay, so... Just crumple them into so a So he was on the opposite side of the, the building. From where the, uh, the gunshots were. Okay. So by the time he would have gotten so, to the window, especially hobbling, view, Mr. Turner, chances are most of the excitement would have already finished. Yeah. The dead body of Kenneth Butler. Brian Vercotti's contorted corpse. Mr. Oh, Turner very poetic description. View of the crime scene. He saw the bodies clearly and Leighton Chapman standing over them. Mm, yeah. Right, let's just do a little reenactment here. So he couldn't have seen anything else. Mm. Oh. Approached the body, took something, broke the stick. Oh, wait. Whoa, wait. Mm, oh, wrong order. Reset. All right. Cut. Pe no. Uh, threw something. No. Um, prepared the broken stick. No. Uh, got up out of bed. Um, Went to the window. Uh, open the window. Uh, no, cut no, no, no. Grab the paper with the stick. 
Go, go, go look out the window. Wait, what? Oh, you think he, he grabbed? Yes. Okay. After oh, no. he saw everything. Oh, place the broken stick back. Okay. And that's why I was like, no, he, he grabbed, he had to grab his cane. Okay. Approach the bodies, grab the paper, cut the paper up, threw the paper in the fire, put his, uh, yeah. put, place the broken stick <laughs> Approximately, back. Approximately, yeah. Unless... He, put, he did that put the first, stick but fast. regardless, yeah. that shouldn't really matter. Yeah, it really shouldn't. Hey, what's going on there? Hey, damn kids! My paper! My loans! My Oh, no! Are these deeds? Fire! Put the stick back. It didn't happen this way. Is this way? Do we have to watch this? Oh, God. I uh, I don't I don't want to. Do you think he's the third person he saw? Mm -hmm. So Mr. Turner there we go. used a book okay. to hide an object that he found on Kenneth Butler's body. The question is what did he find? Hmm. Oh. We could ask him. Hmm. Mm, can we, though? Books. Fat prints. I can see prints from greasy fingers upon the cover of this book. Let he us was take a closer look. A his fat favorite book. slob. And he... Oh, Moby Dick. Oh. I've heard of this one. It's a good, good read, good read. <gasps> well, oh, now, what Lord. a find. A precious jewel. Concealed inside a book. That's could just be his grandmother's. I mean, it could be. Could be the last thing he has from his dead wife. Ram's head design, <clears throat> a distinctive feature of ancient Grecian artifacts. Probably I mean, of the Hellenistic era. Could mm. be. I'll be taking this. It's mine you don't now. mind? Oh, that's what he he cut the pages out of the book to create the hidey oh. hole. Oh. Okay, that makes sense. All right. I'm going to get down to brass tacks with you. You are lying shit. I hate you. I hate you. All right, so maybe he didn't shoot the guys. Mr. Turner, how would it be possible for a man of advanced years, such as yourself, to rush from his bed to the window in a matter of seconds, as you have stated? Well, uh, I'm, I'm able to move very quickly, despite my age. And when the situation requires it, Mr. Holmes. Right. Um, Bullshit. Uh, your uh, your limp. Uh, I want to just I bring that up. That, Mr. Turner. I observe that you suffer a severe limp due to your injured right leg. From the war. At least ten seconds for you to approach the window. That means you could have easily missed something or someone in Half Moon Street during that time. You're, you're right, Mr. Holmes. I could have missed something. But it did seem to me that everything happened so quickly. Oh, time can pull tricks on you. No, can't. Time doesn't do that. No, time and is, what of everything else that you is told us? a Mr. constant. Turner, it is vital that we have your complete and true statement. Mr. Holmes, I do assure you that the other things I said were more <laughs> yeah, time for when, he's, when, when there's a, a huge gap to, his, to, to their left... You could be sure that you're about to call them out on some bullshit. Uh, bring up the antique bracelet, I suppose. Yep. Mr. Turner, you were not sincere with me. Not then, and not now. Pull out the gun, but put Mr. it on the Holmes, table. This, Mr. Turner, does not look like anything that a poor man might possess. It is worth more than the home that you live in. I, I can explain. Damn. No, wow. merely correct me if I am wrong. Really calling, calling his house a through the squabble. Windows. But you also noticed a glittering object on the ground, this precious jewel. You walked down and took the bracelet from the body of Kenneth Butler. And when you heard the whistles, you hurried away. That broke your walking stick. It caught fast between the cobbles. Constable Marrow was unable to see you in the window as you were climbing up the stairs on your way back to your flat. Upon returning home, you hid the precious jewel inside a book. Mr. Holmes, please don't send me to prison. 
I didn't do anything bad. I'm just a poor Other man. than stealing from a dead man, that. you're a little scrupulous money. little I was shit. Desperate. I only took the bracelet, that's all I swear. You and then you tried accusing a young man. But you are not a criminal. I believe that. Just an idiot. Although I must Wouldn't it be robbing a dead man? Owner. What? Isn't robbing a dead man still a crime? It's uh, like grave yeah, robbing. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah. And also tampering with evidence. And falsifying an act, you know, your... Lying to the police? Perjury. Perjury. That's the one I was looking for. Perjury. It skips my mind. It because, skips my mind know. because I always find out. Because I don't fucking care. <laughs> Anyway. Okay, so that's why you don't need to take the papers. Wait that's why moment. they're unimportant. Okay. Your wallpaper is quite atrocious. Anyway, uh, let's see here. Uh, Constable Marrow. You I, suck! I need to speak with you Constable about your Marrow, I would value your assistance value. in this investigation. It would be my pleasure, Mr. Holmes. All right. I would oh, like to make sure Leave. that there are no places in Half Moon Street <laughs> where a man could hide while you were running through it with your lamp. All right, Mr. Holmes, what should I do? Well, just Take run your through it with your lamp. And start walking, just as you did before, and try to find me. Understood. We're going to play some hide-and-seek. You better not do anything to my... Oh, you're playing as him? <laughs> oh, that's weird. It's not what mm -hmm. I was expecting. Mm, nothing there, nothing there. I don't see no one. Uh, there's this spot right here. <laughs> Go and talk to him. Um, oh, Mr. Holmes, I found you. M Mr. Holmes. Uh, I can see you very well, Mr. Holmes. <laughs> All right, Constable. Let's try again. I'll find another place to hide. Uh, um, Mr. Holmes, I'll, I'll, I'll do the I hate say. to do this. I hate to embarrass you like this. <laughs> I think you're, I, I don't I don't think you're supposed to be <laughs> Here you are Mr. Holmes literally looking right, for him like this. Let's try again. <laughs> I'll find another place to hide. Well no, he said that he had checked all the corners like the shadowy parts. Oh. So I'm just assuming that he would have like a right, no. little, a little oh, check no. there. And check there. Well, he ran through the first time, so I don't think he would have Well no, he was saying like these. he had um he had done Swept a walk through pre like earlier. And then did an actual like, and then we was chasing after um, Wiggins. That was, you know, afterwards. Wait, what? <laughs> Holmes. 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 <laughs> Holmes. <laughs> Holmes. <laughs> It's just like Batman just standing up there just with his cape. Ohms? Uh, 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 no. Uh, Alright, well, I guess I'll Here's just... Oh. Ohms. <laughs> I, I thought you was going to be back there. Mr. Holmes, it wasn't difficult to find you at all. Actually, it was. I, I ran out mean... of a now. No one could escape Constable Marrow's lamp while hiding in the street. No! No, we we no. actually just showed that they could. I mean, if he ran through the first time and went to the bodies, the person that was in that first like corner, like the possibly, deep corner, yeah. could have literally just waited and then ran, you know, ran past. Yeah, it proves nothing. Did you see my brother at Scotland Yard? The, got... the second his back is turned, they could have moved. Such it proves nothing. It's stupid. And already a murderer. That's how false information gets spread. Uh, so corner. We like to call sight. it fake news. All right, two victims. All right. So now we have uh, up the walls. We, uh, if we can assume that there was one more person up in the walls. Half, uh, Half Moon Street at the time of the crime, then there was no way forward or back for his escape. Only up. Let us re-enact the action, recreate the fireworks described by Leighton, and attempt to climb the wall. We shall tell Her Majesty to have another birthday. Tonight. Find Same. the flare gun it's still and her birthday. climbing equipment. What? Flare gun and climbing equipment. Flare gun? 
Hmm. Oh! This is turned towards Half Moon Street. Of oh. course. Oh, it's our reflection. But at the same time, uh, that but, was there. So is he is he running at himself? The after he had turned the corner. Locked. Huh. It's <clears throat> weird. I suppose that I shall have to move my stool now. Yes, well, you should I mean, there are no more patrons. To also, buy it is from called you. Whitechapel. Well, just in case you, you do know the history. Yes, I mean, are you a prostitute? No. All right, well, you might be fine. You might but be all right. I don't give you false hope. What? Nope, that's not. Nope, that's not what I wanted. The layer gun. Uh, so I'm guessing you got to go back to Baker it would Street. Be my pleasure. You think? To. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Where else were you, are you going to find a, a flare gun at this time of night? I assume that maybe, like, the flare gun or climbing equipment was just tossed aside. No. You know, in a rush, but I You would have already talked. You would have already noticed it. You're not going to go to that door? This door? Yeah. Locked. You're going to go to the other door? Locked. Okay. Well, I've checked everything. Oh, oh that's just a texture. Oh, that's just a weird texture, yeah. All right, well, uh, yeah. Let's go to Baker Street. Or Scotland Yard. They, I mean, they would probably have, like, climate equipment. <sighs> flares. In the evidence locker? Not in the evidence locker. I mean, well, you, then you just not, have to ask Lestrade. They're probably not just going to give me <clears throat> whatever I want. I mean, Can you give me a flare gun? No! Fuck you! That's rude. Right. Uh, well, it's, it's quite rude. rude. It's, <laughs> well, that's... Good thing I still have that and haven't turned it into evidence. Uh... Economics, technology, history, Greek. ancient Egypt, <sighs> Greek, Greek is not the one. I no. Ah! No. Newspapers, maybe. Oh, maybe something was stolen. Uh, maybe. Museum. Um, a museum. I'm uh, not seeing anything. Research. Uh, oh, maybe Ram's head. Is it just some? That is not the one I need. Uh, no. Uh, criminalistics. Criminalistics. That's a weird way of saying that. Yeah, it is. Uh, I'm thinking. I mean, it's was found in uh, it's decorated with distinctive ram heads. Yeah. Art and architecture. Oh. I mean. Institute of Br British. That is not the one I Damn need. Damn it. Architects. No. Uh, uh, oh, there it goes. There it goes. Yeah. There it is. Uh, beautiful antique jewels represent a part of the Hellenistic treasures collection. Okay. Depicted are the five heads of mountain. Uh, mountain rams upon a bracelet, necklace, and ring, each made of pure gold. That uh, I don't think that's pure gold. <laughs> Is it stained with the blood of the murder? Have been missing from the museum since 1885. Here Do I get to oh. now cross-reference it with a date? I need to continue my research. Yes. yes. Good. Now I go gold. over here, and I go to 1885. And Hellenistic treasure stolen was stolen yesterday evening while being transported by cab on their way from the British Museum to the Glassford <clears throat> Fine Arts. Watson, this was stolen yesterday. This article was written two years ago, but it says yesterday right here. Why would it lie to me? <laughs> uh, Vincent Foley refused to confess as to where the remainder of the treasures were hidden. Uh, he was... Vincent Foley? Was that one of the victims? No. One of the victims, Kenneth Butler, was involved in the story oh, of his the partner. stolen Hellenistic treasures. Yeah. A visit to his the guy that they caught and interrogated is, isn't one of the victims. No. There we go. Pawn shop? Ooh. This is Foley's. Or no. Um, not Foley's. Um... Just literally said his name. One of the victims. Yeah. 
Bradley? Butler? Butler? Uh, uh, Kenneth Butler, yeah. Kenneth Butler. Fuddlebutts. And this should be the key to his place. Well, there's a bar. Uh, there's, well, uh, there it is inside. over there. I'm just going to... Oh, go inside here, I don't know. Look inside. Can, hello? Oh, there's hello. a lot more in there than I thought there'd be. Can I... Can I join? Excuse me! It's... I'm hungry! And thirsty. Mostly thirsty. Alright. Cat jump scare. There's a dead man. <laughs> well, that is just unfortunate, isn't it? Okay. Oh, okay. That is not... That is just leave. Not open. Leave. It's chained up. Why would it say leave? I mean, yes, I'm going to just use the key. Butler's key matches the lock perfectly. Because it's, it's his store. His, well, it could have been his home key. So there was, there was like a 50-50. <laughs> there weren't a lot of options here. tools are exactly what I need to climb the wall. What? What was that? Uh, Look at the antlers. No, those were um, the things that you strapped to the bottom of your shoes. Uh, oh. Mountain climbing or rock There's climbing. No rope. Spikes. What? Yes, there were. Those rope? Yeah. There was like little straps on top. No, I mean like like this full rope. Exactly oh. Need in for climbing? Yeah. The flash no, that's what the hook is for. That little, little. He's going to scale a completely vertical brick wall. Yes. No, he's not. Oh, he's totally going to do that. The fuck he's not. <laughs> Stupid. Well, here's the other one. Is just sitting here. This necklace belongs. The cops to didn't check the, the first village. drawer around the entrance. Interesting. Well, I guess they didn't have a that warrant. That Kenneth Butler owned a part what of is a warrant? <laughs> what is this? I, I don't. This know. is stupid. What's a warrant? Hell, hell, hello, 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 Kenny. That, I think that's actually oh, how it used to be spelled. Remember you also told me about three pieces of gold jewelry with rabs and through each piece. You still got them right? Well, good news to you. All foul mail loaded with the money. The only thing that had that accent was the first <laughs> word. Everything else is spelled correctly. Yeah. What are you doing? Who's crazy about <laughs> those jewels? Jewels. He's ready to over a small fortune. I was I could arrange a meeting with his small bag for you. <laughs> what well, I want you to cut me. I imagine Sherlock the Holmes actually reading that. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I'll be uh, waiting for you at the cross here of Great AEAF Moon Street. Prince Street. Henry. <laughs> oh, <laughs> wait, what? Prince, Prince Henry. <laughs> on Sunday He's evening. He's the royal what, family. What the fireworks? <laughs> Brian the Colty. Man, he has a really strange accent. <laughs> I could barely understand a thing I read. Oh, so loud. <laughs> so loud in my ears. My ear holes. All right. So we have... Uh, do some brain... I guess I'll do some brain things. Oh, long lost art. Okay. No, that that is Butler's Jewels. What? Long lost art, yeah. What? That is a thing. What are you doing? But that's not the thing. Okay. That's the thing. No, of course not. Well... Uh, burglary motive, personal motive. Uh, the violent crime committed in Half Moon Street by Leighton uh, Chapman could have been, uh, could have had a personal motive. Uh, or I don't know what it is. The search for the missing Hellenistic treasures could be the motive for the crime that was committed in uh, Half Moon Street. Mr. Then why Turner didn't they take it? The, the because ring. of the kid. Because the kid got in the way. Possibly. Hmm. I don't know what personal motive would have had yet. did say that uh, he saw the guy leaning over his body, the person's body. That's true. Well. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Back to Half Moon Street. You know, Sherlock Holmes does, actually doesn't dress like he belongs anywhere. He really doesn't. He very much dresses like he stands out. Yeah. In or, every situation. Like, it's like, it's like, Formal and casual. It's just kind of like, like you just can't. 
What? Again? Oh, the cat's... What? Why are you looking at me all the time like that? Because you're at a crime you. scene! I never know what to expect from people like you. People like Children yes. staring at dead Street bodies. Thieves. I ain't a thief. Oh, no. Uh, then where did you get whatever it is that you're gnawing on? I very much doubt that you bought it. What it's a rat. Can't hardly be stolen. I stepped on it. <laughs> uh, Wiggins, you should probably just leave. Wiggins. Wiggins. Uh, looking at the dead body is not going to not going to get you. Constable Marrow. Not going to get your brother out of jail. I, mean, I would like to perform bodies. another kind of reenactment with your help. I'm listening, Mr. Holmes. It's how you consummated the marriage with your wife. I will play your wife. <laughs> Holmes, fine, manner. you can play your but wife. I am going to be the mysterious judge. And Constable can be the <laughs> the priest. Exactly where he, saw him before he, was he wasn't there when we flesh. consummated the. What well, is this? <laughs> you will be late. When I fire the signal flare, you should start to chase me. I understand, Holmes. You do a good Mary. job chasing Just me, Watson. And do exactly as you Chase do. me, Just Watson. <laughs> wait five seconds. Oh no, you've flare. caught me, My Watson. What are you going to do? <laughs> as you say, Mr. Holmes. Let us begin then. Catch me if you can. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so my what? Oh, you have three options. Yeah. I'm thinking this wall is cast in shadow. Yeah. It would be difficult to see. If he's if he's like halfway up the wall while the kid's running around <laughs> the corner in the dark and sees hit the mirror yeah. ahead of him. <laughs> oh, how do you blind Watson? Magic. And right and left click and left. Oh, you have nothing to grab onto. Right what is and left. You see anything. And right and left. <laughs> and this is right the game. And left. He doesn't hear. <laughs> God, a man can't just disappear like that. Ha! You fool. I mean, I don't, I don't believe this. Holmes? Holmes? Where are you? I cannot see you, Mr. Holmes. Dr. Watson, it seems that Mr. Holmes has disappeared. Don't worry, gentlemen, I am up here, above your heads. How on earth did you get up there, Holmes? I'm <laughs> using crampons and a climbing axe. Although the person we are looking for did not leave any traces of such tools. If he was able to Constable, dig that into the brick, to to the, the brick would have slid building. out. <laughs> yes, Mr. Holmes, I can show you. The door to the building can be found from Whitechapel Street. Gentlemen, I am on my way down. Please catch me, Watson, with those strong Soft, arms. Strong arms. arms. All right, let's go into here. I don't, like, I don't believe that. I don't get that. No? You don't think so? No. I mean, obviously, that's that's what they're saying happened. These shards of glass are from the window above. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. It's Lay the coat empty. down over the glass. Take take it. Look at it. Well, the pocket is empty. Yeah. It, yeah, because he didn't take anything. <laughs> black. A cluster of thick black threads. They're unusually strong. I should examine them under the microscope. So he had a rope. Or a coarse hair. Someone broke through the window <laughs> to get inside the attic. But put the jacket over the glass. Ripped his jacket. No, he put his jack he put the jacket over the glass we so he wouldn't cut himself as he crawled the through. Whom Leighton saw climbed up the wall, broke into the attic. I hope you're not saying that it got and caught and its jacket just hand. came off. <laughs> Cause that makes you an idiot. And that makes you look stupid. So Having caught his jacket, he became the nude. <laughs> so we are looking for a one-armed nude man. One Who armed. can climb Wh Why one-armed, Holmes? Well, because reasons. I'm always wondering what's on your mind. 
Mr. Holmes. No. It would be my... No. All right, you are all useless. That's all right. I, I mean... Wall climber. Layton's no. statement. Oh, no, no. All right. Uh, Layton's innocent. I mean, I mean, that's what I'm kind of going yeah. off of anyway. Um, the witness testimonies and crimes with... Uh, clearly point to one possible outcome. Yeah, no. Uh... Crossfire uh, were the victims of a double murder carried out by one person. I mean, that seems more. Uh, Turner uh, could hear the uh, contrast between two fired shots as they were made from uh, different points in the alleyway. Oh, oh, was the mirror. Did he get blinded by the mirror? Is that what it is? It wasn't Some that he was seeing a reflection. In, from the mirror. That like a firework went off and reflected off the mirror and blinded Possibly. him. Because I don't get the blinding part. It's a very bright. It that, close. Yeah, yeah. It would basically have to be right there. Yeah. It was a dud until it hit the ground right by the mirror. Yeah, I don't get that. Hmm. All right. Uh. <clears throat> okay. So. Okay, so I need to go back to Baker Street and analyze those fibers. Like I said, I mean, if it's a rope, then that would explain why there were no, you know, marks on the wall. Yeah. And why you didn't hear, ting, yeah. ting, 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 ting. All right. Let's see Let here. Let's take a closer look. Magnifying glass. Enhance. Enhance the other way. Okay. Okay. Ah, uh, yes. It, it is, is a fiber. Thread, but a hair. I very much doubt that it is human. Oh, is he wearing a coat? This sample with a very thick hair coat. And a horse hair. Hmm. A shaving what? brush is usually made from horse hair. Why what did he immediately jump to horse hair? Shaving brush. I mean, it's a very thick, well. common hair. I mean, it's definitely thicker than dog. Watson, look. What's outside the window? Well, I don't see anything. Ouch. Holmes. <laughs> oh, don't make such a fuss. One little hair. Please. You like when I play dirty and rough. No, they're yeah, still of course not the not. same. The horse hair is thinner than the hair that we found. This is a most unusual hair. Yes. Human hair... Is so, yes. this black hair belongs to an animal, and it is larger than a horse. A hair from a large or exotic animal. Or it has thicker hair. Doesn't yeah. have to be larger than a horse. What, a bear? Or maybe a ram? A lives a in the mountains? Yeah. I'm going to go change. I think, um... You know what's really disappointed me? What? I haven't used this... At all. It, it serves no function the outside of yeah, outside of the sneaking into the bar. Like um I think I think it's like donkey has like thicker, coarser hair than yeah. than um than horse. Alright. Speaking of which, uh, did you know that donkeys acrobat. don't have a scent? They don't have an odor. Uh okay, so apparently I'm going with a circus acrobat as my prime suspect. Okay. He Maybe that would explain the bear. A wall in a matter of seconds. Uh, a hair from a large exotic animal was found. Like an elephant hair? Uh, maybe? I, I don't, I mean, I don't know if, I don't know how, like, dense I, that would, their hair is, but, I mean, they're large. I guess. Wait, is it telling me that I have another combination? Nope. I do not. No further combinations. Okay. I mean, uh, I guess Scotland Yard. Yeah, let's give let's give Scotland Yard. I haven't been there in a while. Mm. Huh. Hmm. 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 Actually, what I would have done is is I would have um, searched to see in the newspaper if there was any circuses in town, but well, yes, but I couldn't. Right. There was nothing. I mean, like, do. logically speaking, though. Yes. Uh, yeah, there must not be nothing else new there. Uh, maybe 
He might. Okay. You're useless. Okay. You might not be a killer, but you are useless. All right. So nothing here. Uh, pawn shop. <laughs> it's running around. It's like, do you have anything for me? Uh, uh, what? What? No, Holmes. Damn it! Damn it! You! Useless! <laughs> Do you have anything for me? Well, I don't know who, who you are. Who, who are Damn you? it! Alright. Let's see. Anything, anything to be found here. Anything to be found here. Anything to be found No. Anything. No. Anything. No. Okay. Uh, go to your visions. Like I said, it would, it would tell me. I know. Hmm. Maybe you just gotta go back and search the search the area. I guess I'll go back here and talk to the the constable again. Or maybe there was something inside the house that you missed. Maybe inside the broken house, broken window house. I, I don't believe so, but I'll I'll, I'll check. Yep, I knew it. Oh, it's just gonna be him punching the child. What are you doing here? You'd best be leaving and be quick about it. Why do you keep asking I've him what he's doing wrong. here? You'd learn more by watching Mr. Holmes. He knows exactly what he's doing. Not like you. Pow! Watch your tongue. I mean, Jesus, what's the point in this confrontation? What's the point in the kid still being here? Yeah. I no, that's not what I want to look at. I mean, don't get me wrong. Like, he's not being an asshole telling the, the vagabond to leave. It would be my pleasure to assist you with your investigation. Mr. O. All right. Wait, what do you think? I'll do... Oh, no. Oh, no. All right, let's just go back up here. Up to you. Uh, do, do you, you have, any have anything? That's why it's better to stay at home. Fuck you! I am... Livid. Livid right now. Do you have nothing for me? And what about out here? I'll check the mirror. Nope. Hmm. Nope. Nope. Uh, yeah, nope. Mm. Come back in there, I guess. Yeah. I don't think there was anything that I missed in this area, but maybe. Like this? Giant screw? Giant hinge. Uh, yeah, no, that's same, same there. Is it, no, nothing. Really? No footprint information. You've got to be kidding me. Simultaneous shot. Try that. Possibly. Um. There we go. Oh. There's a thing. Vanishing act. Person who uh, was seen only by Leighton uh, escaped the crime scene by climbing the wall. He was a skillful... Maybe the dude was the best shot. Like, did a John Wick, slid on the ground, shot up through the dude's stomach, and hit the dude <laughs> in the head. Maybe. Uh, wait, wait what did that say I needed to do? Uh, request Wiggins' assistance in locating the right circus. Okay. Wiggins, grabs him by the arm. Come with me. You're leaving this area. You are. You little shit. How many times do I have to tell you? Not? He's an adult. You are a child. Get the Mr. fuck Holmes? out. We have good news for you, Wiggins. The investigation has proven very interesting so far. We found That's facts and not details that necessarily good news. Your brother's innocence. I knew it, Mr. Holmes. Well, I mean, but technically, now, no, you haven't. <laughs> I need you to locate. I need him to be on my side. He's already on your side. Yes, but I'm going to prove that his brother is a cold-hearted murderer, and I want him on my side until he learns that I've betrayed him. Yes. All right, now I'll just go home and take a nice long, long shit. <laughs> A nice hot shit. You know what? Speaking of which, I don't remember seeing a bathroom <laughs> on that flat. I don't remember seeing a restroom or a toilet at all. I do hope those chamber pots. Get into trouble, Holmes. Don't worry, Watson. I predict some news in seven seconds. <sighs> of course.
house. Mr. Holmes, we found it. Here it is. Was it exactly seven seconds? I don't know. I wasn't counter. Ah, uh, yes, elephant. I was right. This is a young Indian elephant, the highlight of the show. How can you tell he's young? Look at the painting. It's a painting. Look at the lack of tusks. It's a painting. A well -known traveling Look at the detail, though. It's almost... Why would he lie to us? A circus with no people run by elephants. I knew it. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I mean, that part of the, the investigation is over. Apparently. Well. I guess there's no reason to go back to the, uh, the previous crime scene or... Even if Ever go, go back to Scotland Yard night. again? Yeah, no, never. Hey, you. Stop right there. Good morning. You're sir. right. The the elephant isn't Why young. It's quite old. Excuse me. Saggy. Because it's private. Well, I only wanted to meet the artists. Hmm? You're wanting artists. Artists. You don't look like the type of uh, artistic lock picker that we're looking for. You might be surprised. Wait, what? they're looking for a lock picker? Yeah. I don't think so. Clear off. I'm sorry. Uh, they're looking for a lock picker? This was the strangest interview I've ever had. You're a bit slow to catch on, eh? It, yes, I'm just going to. I'm just going get around to, you. I'm just going to. I'm just going to. Uh, I, there we go. Oh, okay. You're I'm just a going bit to, slow to catch on, eh? I, I'm just going to get go. Lost. Up. Okay, I'm just going to go You're this way. I'm, I'm, I'm going to I, I have a right. Have oh, a, this is your alcohol. Uh, I see. Okay. Let me see if I can crack um, into that. I'm going to go over here then. Uh, I'm going to look at this. It's very interesting. A uh, bit bored here. All right, fine. So. That was pointless. Wait a minute. So they take away <laughs> every other place you can go. So I guess you got to dress up. <laughs> as a as a vagrant, quite possibly, He's like, or ooh, or get Wiggins to do it for me. No, absolutely not. Toby, can you get in there for me? Wait. Hello, Toby. All you need now Dog is a shawl and a mop cap, and you could be Mrs. Hudson's younger sister. Damn. Wow. Kind of a dick, dude. All right, well, Dude, uh, asshole. Yeah. Open my That's wardrobe. kind of a dick statement. All right, let's see how. Uh, unbutton suit, sail outfit, morning gown, uh, bandit outfit. Yes, mm, that looks just. Is there a bandit hat? Uh, let's see here. I need a bandit hat. Hats. Yeah. That, mm, wait, is there? A... No. No. What about this one? No. No. Well, actually, the, the bowler hat does say more professional. Like, more professional thief. You think? A little bit. But I kind of like the <laughs> uh, the derby. Yeah. All right. Uh, glasses. This will hide my face a bit better. And let's... Uh, yeah, there we go. I'm an old... I'm a Jew. <laughs> I was gonna go. The I'm same. an old Jew. Uh, Heidel Flamstein, <laughs> gold flub. I am gold. Oh, <laughs> I still, I still have. So, uh, uh, I don't remember. I think it was a business card from from an old doctor. It was Goldfarb. I think it was like Isaiah Goldfarb, and I kept his. <laughs> I don't remember where it is, but I have like his his business card somewhere, and I remember just. <laughs> it's like the most chewy doctor, and like not even in, not, not in like a bad way. Just Re really, spectacles are unpopular among thugs. Oh, I thought I was being a professional bandit. But, I thought I was right. being clever, but I see I am not. All right, I'll remove this, but as a compromise, big beard. The, big beard. <laughs> there we go. Hello, my name is Isaiah Goldfob. Stay where you are. What oh, are you really? Doing here? And where is Sherlock Holmes? Calm down, Watson. Take it's not are that you good. Kidding me? Oh, like 
I can't get used to your decision. I think Watson is just humoring him at this point. Either that or or he's in denial of his vision. <laughs> Watson's that's just why like... that's why he's not as good as Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> Sherlock Holmes is twenty twenty. He has like Oh, no, what is it? I it's prefer like, the idea of, of Watson five, just five. be like, oh my gosh, say, who oh, are you? Oh my god, you're oh, practically where, invisible. Where Jeez. is Holmes? I will shoot you, intruder. And then will you fuck me? Who are you? Get out. <laughs> What's your name? My name is Nigel. I'm here to open the locks. Talented, eh? Let's see. Go inside the marquee and show yourself to Charles Foley. And Charles Foley. You not to trick him. Got that? I've got it. How do you like my beard? It's quite nice, isn't it? Nice and full and real and very bear-like. Very, very bear-like. Very cub-like. And very much like. top, by the way. I'm a, or power bottom. I, I'm fine with that. I'm okay with power bottom. I have a, I have a power bottom. <laughs> a powerful, powerful bottom. Uh, are these for sale? The, the fruits are in cages. <laughs> Why are the fruits in cages? What have they done? Are the cabbages and and, to, and do you just stand there facing evil? in that direction endlessly? All right, let's go check out this individual so, room here. Everything is here, just as you asked. And what about the money? Some of the barrels are wet. Transportation issues. It couldn't be helped. Whatever. We'll be here after midnight to pick up the supplies. <laughs> I want to be paid first. No. You'll be paid after we make the transfer, as I said. Right? I hope that no one saw you. The police are on the lookout. I thought we just made a transfer. Not. I'm a professional. Glad to hear it. Be ready for tonight, then. Is he the climber with the gun and the things? I, I, I uh, guess. Well, I'm just going to uh, Let's take these. All right. No. Oh. Barrels, yes. Gunpowder. Mm. Well, it's open. This barrel is damaged. This wooden. Okay. There is a spot on this barrel that was intentionally painted out. Some sort of maker's mark or something. Yeah, probably stole the something. Crest of the Honorable Artillery Company. Yep. Gunpowder. Gunpowder. I need to ha! be sure. I'll just grab a match. Judging Ooh. by the fractions yep. and the scent, I can confirm that it is, in fact, gunpowder. There's only one other way to be 100% sure. The barrels are roughly tested. <laughs> it seems as though they were brought here in a hurry. It's a lot of gunpowder. I mean, I guess he's got a, a big vault he's got open. I mean, there, he was looking for a locksmith. This printing press is old, hmm. but still quite capable of printing yeah. hundreds of pages per day. Through the pages of what? Rise up and keep rising from lambs into lions. Lambs uh, into lions. Oh, is this like a remember, remember the 5th of November kind of thing? Possibly. Hence the gunpowder. Of a contemporary gentleman wearing a Robin Hood hat. Interesting. This poster was clearly made to fire up rebellion Fox guy. the people. Guy Fox. Guy Fox. Guy, guy Fox. <laughs> Fox guy. Fox Whoever guy. that Fox guy was. Mm. There are enough posters to paste across half of London's walls. Um, they'll need more. Powder kegs, a printing press, and a great many blank papers. All of this was stolen <coughs> by the Merry Men quite recently. Yep, and there it is. Poster samples. What? I am quite sure it is not a coincidence. The Merry Men are the Irish terrorists. some sort of sabotage. Ah, stop right here. Who are you? Are you Charles Foley? Maybe. They say that I can open any door. Do they now? Who's they? We'll see that lock near the chains on the table over there. Open that. It's not a door. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I specifically said doors. I, I'll, you, say, I'll say you door. Fuck nugget. Uh, nothing weird about his nose. No, Stephen. That's just insulting to suggest. Protected safe, uh, bloody bandage, oh. recent trauma, cutting himself on the window, uh, a gun, bulldog revolver, cutthroat, 
Uh, he's got uh, ring. Oh, I can't even. I could barely even make that out. All right. Yeah. Is, yeah. He's got that one ring right there. Okay. So that's all five of those things. My hands are cut for. up. Uh, either from climbing the rope or from cutting himself on the glass. No, those are for um, uh, helping with like uh, yeah, rope burns and such. Um, just because he's an athlete. You uh, assume he's an athlete. No, that's what that's what Holmes was saying. All right. This had better be the hardest lock in this entire game, because if it's not, I'm going to be very disappointed. Oh, this one just shifts like that. Yeah, you, you don't know yet. You don't know what it can do yet. Uh, so that's that. All right. And now I'll turn this one like that. And bazinga, bazinga, bazinga. That didn't take very long. No, it really didn't. The previous one was way harder. <sighs> Unless it's supposed is to be it, really easy. Is this is this really... I'm unimpressed. I, Lock it again. Do it again. Maybe there was a fluke. I need to find out what's behind this Charles. Yes. I unlocked I need I, I, I unlocked I just the talk, thing. I just I, I I did it. I did I did this. I am I do I how is Excuse me. Um do I, do oh. I go here first? No. Okay. I, I mean, I don't know how the lost art and that are connected, but okay. Okay. Uh, man in jacket. Uh, I mean, yes, I'm assuming that is he. He who is man in jacket. Oh. Well, they're right. What's your name? But it's not a Nigel door. Nigel Shirley from York. Ah, Nigel from York. Yeah. Never heard anything about you. How'd okay. You about me? Uh, Turner's limp. No, that <laughs> I heard it from Turner's limp. The way he walks, it says uh, Foley, jailed, Foley, Foley, uh, Foley. Westgate prisoners. Uh, Westgate prisoners. Yeah. No. Ooh. Finally got one wrong. Oh. Select the correct oh, answer. Nigel from you. Oh, so we just. Never oh, that's it. I thought that was gonna be all of a sudden you got a, like a gun out, gun down. Um. I mean, then jailed thief, I suppose. It's a long story. Really? I met your brother, Vincent the Butcher Foley, in prison. He told me all about his betrayal and all about you. Before I was released, he told I me... I can't that even look at you. job for me one day and pay me some money for me craft. Well, he died seven days ago in prison. Hmm. I'm sorry to hear that. That's all right. I didn't like him anyway. Blood price for it, and you'll do the job anyway, because I need a talented lock picker. I know just where okay. to search for his legacy. It's all about the Hellenistic treasures, isn't it? Gosh, you fool! Now listen up. You'll come with us. His shadow is flat topped. <laughs> Mind yourself. <laughs> of course. Wait. So no is. idea why. Billy, Jack, and me. And what will I get for that? We'll share the loot. The one you seem to know about. Right. Wait for us at the abandoned manor house on a corner of... Ba a very, house. That's a very expensive piece of jewelry to just be wearing. Deal. Yeah, it is. Well, I mean, well, if he was smart, he would wear it on a necklace under his shirt. But he ain't. He ain't. And he's definitely not um, uh, secure enough to leave it... Well, you know, I'm just going to place. catch a ride in my very expensive carriage. Don't worry about it. I'm, I am. I'm still broke Somewhere and still a lock picker. Hellenistic treasures. Wait, what? But we have all the Hellenistic. There's one more, isn't there? Unless no, no. There's... Unless there is more to the collection than just those three items. Oh, I have to do two. Okay, no, that's. This lock is quite old. Shouldn't be much of a challenge. Okay. Alright. Um interesting. Is there any nope, it's either of those two. Gotcha. Uh let's see. Uh Okay. Oh. Like that. And then no. Let's undo that one. Uh yes. That. There we go. Oh, okay. Got it. 
nailed it. I need a flashlight and lockpick it. So, you know, do this multiple times. Sledgehammer, it's going to be in a wall. This isn't a zombie-filled mansion, is it? I don't know how to deal with zombies. How dreadful. It's like no one has been taking cleaning this abandoned building. Seems as though this cupboard can be moved. Yes. Uh, yes, it's it not can. attached to the wall. All right. So, that's the lock. I'm I mean, yes. Dur. And we have to do another one of these. Fucking dur. Okay. So it's the most complex. This is of the them last all. part of the game. Isn't this it? is the final boss. Lock picking. <laughs> I cannot express to you my oh disappointment. Oh my god. The final boss is lockpicking. Oh, oh come on! <laughs> nothing happens! Nothing! Uh, no, that was it. Oh my god. At least give you like two or three layers. What a surprise. Oh. A lock. Oh. Is it the same oh, format? No. I won't be able to pick this one. Check the thieves' possible escape routes. I was hoping it was going to be the other kind of lock. The yeah. From the, front door. the one that we only did once. Yeah. All right. Which was far more interesting. Nothing happened. In an emergency. It is. So let's make sure it's locked. Put a chair in front of it. Ooh. Some what is rope. This? A rope. A solid rope. All right. Well, if it's solid, then it's just a beam. <laughs> this should be useful. I'll use it to hang the man as he tries to escape. <laughs> I have the chair and a rope. Can I? A solid yes. Can I? A, 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 can I takes? I you cannot takes, yet. takes the rope because you takes it yet. I do not know what I need the rope for. Uh, oh, can I? Okay, so I'll put. The chair in front of the door is now blocked. Well done, Holmes. You you've literally done the simplest, most well, easiest. Well All right. And I gotta close off this window. The ground floor window is a perfect way. Yes, to yes, it is. Uh, so uh, for window time, I need a giant fucking desk, a pearl necklace. Just what I needed. I'll put a painting over the window so no one thinks of it. <laughs> so I'll paint a wall to look like a window. That way he think. Oh. Something in here? I mean, sledgehammer? Oh. Chandelier? I suppose that the thieves already tried to open the lock with this formidable... I sup I wonder what okay. the chandelier... Really? Okay. They tried to open it with the... They could literally cut it out of the wall and just take the safe. Item required. Carpet. Oh, Put the carpet over the window. Carpet. Oh, that's a lovely old carpet. The door is. Can I take it? What? Oh, that. Can, can I? What? Are you... you can't take the sledgehammer. Okay. So then. I mean. Wait, what? Cupboard. Can I, do I move, move the cover? The very well. No one will escape. No, because he can. If you moved it, they can move it. Yes, but it took me like a whole two seconds to move it. Do you know how much damage I'm I can so do? I'm so fucking jacked. <laughs> I am so chad. All right. Oh, he took the there door off. No ladder. If anyone falls <laughs> here, he will need assistance <laughs> to get out. I will make them shatter their legs as they try to escape, and then oh, I put a carpet oh over it. Oh my god. <laughs> How do you get over it, though? Uh, this should. I'll just. Um. I'll um. Oh, go. okay. <laughs> it just very carefully. All right. Now I will take the sledgehammer. Rope. A sledgehammer. I'll use this as a tripwire. Takes the hammer. The rope will uncoil and make the chandelier fall. Oh. Killing them oh. immediately. So he's doing some uh, Home, Home Alone, Alone shit. shit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man! This guy, it's just gonna be full of bodies. <laughs> You're gonna be solving a murder. And you know, I mean, it's gonna be you who did it. 
All right. Now there take the wood it's door. Not an open hatch, just a nice carpet on the floor. I should walk carefully here, else my plan will be ruined. Uh, All right. But, uh, where would you? So, they come running he through here. Through the dining room and takes a sledgehammer to force open the door, the chandelier will knock him down. Killing him. He goes through the other way. Now, if a thief runs <laughs> that looked... Oh my god! That looked brutal. Alright. Well, I think my job here is... Ah! <laughs> <laughs> well, Nothing around, to do upstairs? I don't think so. This is another open window. There is. Although this window is high above the ground, it would be possible for one of the thieves to attempt to use it for their escape. See? So, I shall... Pearl necklace. Just, just show the pearl necklace on the steps. Oh, my God. Is that... Oh, God. Is that what this I'm about so to funny. do? <laughs> I'm just going to... Yep. Oh, Lord. We trap the steps. I'm just going to drop One the... step on the and our thief I can't believe this. <laughs> Else my plan will be ruined. <laughs> oh my god. He's gonna kill so many people. Down very quickly. Yes. Very quickly indeed. Oh, Jesus. I can leave now. But I'll return Haunted to house. With <laughs> That's an awesome achievement. <laughs> Oh my god. I think we're just about There's done with this, so, so we should bodies. be able to... Oh my god. Police! Police! <laughs> Triple simultaneous where murder. Where are they? Trapped, Watson. With your assistance. How so? You sounded just like a real Bobby, my dear fellow. You startled them into the traps. I did? I assure you, Watson, Holmes. it was quite an entertaining Are they all show. Dead? They Are they dead? Are they dead? Yes. Now. Of course. Because their souls will be trapped in it. And this is the pistol used for the murder in Half Moon Street. You don't That's know that. I... See? I... God damn it. <laughs> I love your genuine disappointment. <laughs> God damn it. But you should be pleased to know that you have served our queen. Wow. In this instance. <laughs> so now, let us catch the big fish. But this man is not one of the merry men. Ha! Told you! No. <laughs> then why exactly are we here, Sherlock? This gentleman, Charles Foley, has been involved in a double murder and the hunter of a set of valuable antiques. The Hellenistic treasures. How did he get there so fast, anyway? Many years ago. Good question. You're no better than a coppers. Yes. I mean, no. I don't think he's I getting mean, up I'm... because his his spine was shattered. Yeah, he's paralyzed. I'll just be opening this. this. Look at all of those. Oh my God! Wonderful Hellenistic-based treasures. Oh, that is incredible. The Hellenistic treasures. Yes, the Hellenistic Indeed. treasures. Nothing but trifles. Where are the merry men? I don't know why you are asking me, Mycroft. They are yours to find. <laughs> I'll see you soon, dear brother. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Of art. It was thought lost. Oh my the god. With the chandelier worked perfectly. Charles Foley has been knocked down. But there's still that one last guy, so this is completely over. What do you mean? That guy um, who hired him to get the gunpowder? He's part of the Merry Men. He is unconscious. Oh, true, true. Yeah. And it's still him. So this isn't completely over. So this episode is over, but there's more. So, yeah, there's literally only one brain stem to connect. <laughs> So anyway, um, yeah, that's going to be it for this episode. Um, Are you, wait, what? Sam, I'm pretty sure we're done. I no, think, I, I don't think, I it's think it leaves off as a cliffhanger. I don't think it does, Steven. Okay, here's what we okay, can do. Okay, we'll do solve this. Do an outro this. now. We'll no, no, no. Do an outro now. 
and we'll just cut it out and just continue. No, we could at least do this. We could at least leave this episode with this conclusion. Because if there's anything else, it would be after telling us whether or not we actually solved it. Why not? It's only it's only like a minute or two. Um, uh, absolve Foley? Wait. Uh, organize the, and execute a wicked plan of revenge with the added theft of ancient value. I mean, yeah. Yeah. And he also like has so much black powder that it's not even funny. <laughs> you committed the crime of premeditated murder and of theft. You will be severely punished for your deeds. You are pitiful. You Scotland Yard dog. Save your words for the gallows. I'm sure the journalist. I mean, he's not even going to deny it. I shall leave now, Watson. Gentlemen, please take our friends here into custody. Where are you going? I have unfinished business. I'll see you at Baker Street. After all that near murder, I need to just... I need to release <laughs> all of this. I have the In most a <laughs> intense boner right now. A chubby like Nova. Oh, shit. It is a Dover. Be careful with the lamps. No, it is Don't over. Bring them too close to the barrels. It's not over. Good it is evening, over. Gentlemen. See, it is over. Good evening. That is of no importance. What matters is who you are and the plans that you have here. <laughs> so you can stop us from carrying them out? Eventually, yes. <laughs> <laughs> You'll blow us all up. I'm listening. <laughs> We're a group known as the Merry Men. But I suppose you knew that already. We are the men who've already lost everything of value in their lives. We are ruined shopkeepers. We are workers uh -huh. who are fired from their jobs. Yes. People who were robbed. You vaguely look so like homes and thrown onto the Leonardo DiCaprio. The in the name of the so if he was constantly frowning. The laws that were set out by our government. Mm -hmm. the laws mm -hmm. that make the commoners yes. only more vulnerable and, and that makes murder and destruction valid right some of us are from the new land america australia see not we not, are many. not irish men, timothy not still, irish and we are men american we stopped being austrian For australian be, done their best there's a difference but still. Still. <laughs> australian <laughs> austria there's a difference <laughs> Advised us to keep our it's not big. Bound. Not Italian, though. Us from fighting. And not... Bankers, yeah, because they have their own Irish. country. <laughs> they own True. our lives, our work, our bread. And they push us to compete between each other. Ah, yes, socialism. But in the end... Communism. They are so they are weak. They are nothing without their titles. We should not fear them. Our so-called masters should fear us instead. The time has come right. Our group I am falling tall. asleep right now. I am so bored. Oh, my God. You are the worst at this. No Whoa. Lost, That's what they're going to blow up. Debts and property yeah. titles? They shall all be destroyed. They're only papers, after all. So many people will be freed over this night. That is a radical step to take. What result do you truly expect? Chaos. But soon people will understand that they are I mean, free, yeah. they don't belong to Chaos. anyone. They will be able to work um, for themselves. <clears throat> Technically, together. you're still, uh, yes, the rulers but... Dictate what to do, and finally justice will arise. No, people, there will be chaos. Do you know, it is not people justice. aren't very good at ruling themselves uh, and ke Kids keeping themselves in lines. I and how don't many laws think you understand you that. Punished for stealing from <clears> their people. Sending them to their deaths in mines or overseas to fight for land. Our masters wouldn't hear us. So now it's time to sing the song of the merry men. Will you let us do our duty? Um, no. No. Uh, Wait, what? Well, uh, we both know how this is going to end. I. When people fight the order, they are too blind to see the consequences that throw society into chaos. I shall stop your actions, but not you. Run. Now. That'd be much faster. Uh, yes. Significantly faster. 
And also, with that also, much gunpowder, I don't think we'd where be able you gonna to run to. See? <laughs> yeah, no. They're all dead. And that is the day that Sherlock Holmes died. died. He should have been covered in ash <laughs> with pieces of wood in his shoulder. <laughs> If anything, Shrapnel. either that or it should have been just like you looking at like Watson and like over his grave, him and his wife so, crying. You're interested in Russian literature now. Eh, crime Quite and punishment. Lately, it is an interesting book. I remember a few lines. Really, I tried reading it myself, but I had a hard time understanding it. Oh, of course yes, you would. Doctor. It's about intelligence, Sherlock. I vaguely. <laughs> <one of> <laughs> Sometimes ah, the assholeness of Mycroft. Intelligent. Mm. There were also a few words along the lines of, "Pain and suffering are always inevitable for a large intelligence and a deep heart." Mm. Tell me, <laughs> does my mm. brother show any sign mm. of pain or suffering? Not that I know of. Because you see, Doctor, he did try to poison himself mastery, earlier. My brother does possess a deep heart. So deep that he does not recall where he places his love. Hmm. Well, I'm sure that uh, his love... Love is not in the heart, Mycroft. You're an idiot. Place, <laughs> should be it's empire. in the... <laughs> it's in the spleen. Epithalamus. It's where you <laughs> regulate your body the temperature. Idiot. That has no room God, you're stupid. People who commit crimes... Or at the very least intend them. Deserve punishment, Sherlock. Without justice, there can be no civilization. Uh -huh. We serve the truth, not justice. Your truth, Doctor, that may prove immoral. Allowing people to terrorize London. Destabilize Oh my Europe. god. Is this gonna be Terrorized another hour of just my of just Mycroft my monologuing? Not I, not Watson, not Mrs. Hudson, not Wiggins. Sherlock. The merry men are to be stopped. Then do your Not damn you. job. You created the merry men. Stop them yourself. Yeah, you exactly. Sure that you don't create ten more merry men by arresting the one. Good night, Dr. Watson. <laughs> and fuck you, Holmes. I really wish he would just Anything flip him off. Anything post, Watson? Any clients worthy of our attention? Only a second reminder from Mrs. Hudson about our new neighbor. She urges you to remove your... Oh, I don't care about that. Holmes, the lady who will be moving in what? shortly has requested the use of our spare room to place all of her boxes. Wait, what? A, a lady? Uh, 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 Watson, uh, you can't. Uh, yeah. Women are d d disgusting. Uh, they're not as, as, as suitable for lovemaking as... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> as the masculine art. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Pretty much everyone was on point. Yeah, everyone made the same. I Lady. never guess. Guilty brotherhood, the crimes, your punishment. It's just kind of a... Why? It's almost like a Resident Evil. Yeah, almost. It just... Wait, is it her? No, I think it's she just going lady? through like the... The uh... last... This is weird. Uh, hi. What? I'm sorry I was standing so close. <laughs> what uh, the what? fuck? She's haunted? Uh, I, 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 what? It's, we're just going through Wait all the minute. different crimes and kind of... Yeah, I guess. <sighs> a very weird. There's some supernatural sequence. shit going on right now. Why aren't we starting these chronological? I would love an answer to that, yeah. She still hears his wailing from inside the <laughs> cavern. She doesn't sleep. She needs to burn it. But every time she burns it, she comes out the next day, and it's still standing. I, I don't know why this is so eerie. <laughs> why? There's nothing haunting in the game. Why is this so haunting? No, Timothy. Who's that? That's the old man with the limp looking out the window, remember? He's alive! Uh, actually, no, he, he's dead now. That's a different person, no, Steven. He's dead now. He didn't die! He, he died. 
He had a heart attack. That's the kid. Yep. Working at the flower shop. That's someone. Who the fuck is that? Ah, uh, there's the. Uh, there's the uh, Italians, the Mexican? Spanish. No, uh, the Mexicans were killed. Yeah. He's no, the, no, no, no. Was it? No, he's the Mexican. The other ones were killed. Were they the Spanish? The, the Chileans. Chileans. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Chileans. Thank you. It's been forever. So yeah, I'm guessing he got out. No, this is all them just reflecting in their cells or <sighs> in hell. Oh, Kevin McLeod. Kevin McLeod. Oh, my God. Kevin McLeod. <laughs> Kevin McLeod. <laughs> Kevin McLeod. <laughs> Kevin, uh, well, this is a good sign. We don't gotta, we don't gotta uh, censor, uh, black out any of the audio. Uh, they did a whole damn thing. Did they hire him or did they just use his music? Oh my god! I hope they hired him. Oh and he made original god. pieces. Oh. <laughs> For those who don't know who Kevin McLeod is, that dude is like the ultimate royalty-free music guy. Oh my god! Still going. Um, it's a very foppish way of smoking a cigarette. It's probably weed. It's probably just heroin. <laughs> like he puts his other hand up and it's another cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> I can never get enough. I always have to have something in my mouth. I, Otherwise, I'm I don't just think not anything's satisfied. Happening. He's, I, it's going to pan one more time and then standing behind him is going to be the lady. She didn't live at their place. No, but where is he putting out the ash? There's nothing there. In his he's putting it, yeah, he's just putting it out in his lap. He didn't even put that in his mouth. Oh, is this just? Yes, it is, Stephen. Wait, what? Is this just so I can? Yeah. Look at the notes. Is it... Oh, this, it... <laughs> this literally just. <laughs> I was expecting uh, something to happen. <laughs> no, we already got the haunted sequence. We don't need anything else with Sherlock oh Holmes. God. That's it. That's it. <laughs> That's the end. <laughs> it just keeps circling him. Uh, wait, oh, fuck. Wait, can we, uh, oh. You can only nope, go to. Nope. I wish it would unlock everything and just walk around and just go, ah, yes, of course. Nothing. Oh, my God. Well, but uh, yeah, there we go. That was that was a little bit longer of 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 an episode, but uh, whew, whew, good. completed the whole thing. Finally done with Sherlock Holmes: Crimes and Punishments. We need to do the other games at some point. Yeah, we 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 definitely need to do um, uh, the Awakened or whatever mm. next uh, Cult Over. Uh, and there's a whole bunch of others mm. that we need to do as well. But, uh, yeah, that's going to be it for this series. Uh, thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Totally fine. Subscribe if you're new. Bell for notifications. And leave down in the comment section below. Like to see us play any other games. In January, we're going to be doing a whole bunch of trying to finish up games that we didn't finish before. And uh, ones we just kind of left, left left hanging. Not like ones that we got all the way to the, the end and then it just kicked our ass. <laughs> That's for something else. That's for a different occasion. But, uh, yeah. Uh, until next time, peace. Watson. Watson. I'm so alone. <sighs> I really want that dick. <laughs> right here. Really, yeah, really right. sit in that hairy hairy lamp right on my chin just place my head in his soft military lap go right to sleep pretend like what we're doing is legal <laughs> and neither of us will be in prison oh those would be the days